All right, so as promised, let's talk about ionic bonds, how to draw the Lewis dot structures for ionic bonds. A bond is nothing more than a force that holds two or more atoms together, and when we're talking about ionics, we specifically mean an electrostatic force, a positive attracting with a negative. So before I can do anything else, I'm going to have to draw the Lewis dot structures for my two ions involved. Let's start off with something relatively simple like sodium chloride. So I need to come up with my Lewis dot structures for my sodium ion and my chloride ion. Since this is an ionic bond, once again, we have electrons actually being transferred. So sodium ordinarily has one valence electron, chlorine has seven. So we have one unpaired electron on that chlorine. My one electron from my sodium is actually going to be transferred over to my chlorine. So that now my sodium has no electrons, we've transferred it away, and my chlorine now has eight. The ionic bond is nothing more than the electrostatic attraction that happens between the positive and the negative. So this is the Lewis dot structure for sodium chloride. If you were to have a substance that involved more than two atoms, uh, for example, magnesium bromide, MgBr2, our magnesium We'll do the Lewis dot structure for him first. That's one of our scenarios where magnesium's valence electrons are only in the s orbital, so he has two. My bromines, I'll do them in a different color. My bromines each have seven. Put my lone electron on the left side for ease of drawing. So again, electrons are actually going to be transferred from my magnesium to my bromines. So my Lewis dot structure for magnesium bromide is going to be my magnesium ion and my two bromides. Since we've switched to ion form, these are now bromide. Here's my other one with his full octet of eight valence electrons. And again, this electrostatic force, oops, can't quite see that bottom one, there it is. This electrostatic force between these positives and negatives is what creates your ionic bond. So there are no lines drawn, no connect the dots, none of that business in ionic bonds since this is an electrostatic force. A an attraction between positives and negatives. We get to connect the dots when we go on to covalent bonds. Tune in to the next video for covalence.